Number 27. Classify each of the following changes as physical or chemical. And then I have A through E. So I'm just going to say A, B, C, D, and E. Okay. Before we get into this question, we got to figure out what a physical change is and what a chemical change is. So I'm going to write them over here. So a physical change, I'll say that it's PC, physical change, is basically any change in which you're just changing. So I'll just say that. I'll just say changing states of your substance. So you should know the flow of your states for a given substance. So there's solid, which can go back and forth between a liquid, which can go back and forth between a gas. Now there's one special one that I want to add here. Also solids can go back and forth between aqueous as well. So I'm going to put that over here. Techni you know what, I'm even going to just put aqueous down here. This is also a state, AQ, which stands for aqueous. It just means in water, aqua aqueous in water. Whenever you're in an aqueous state, it's always a dissolution. So you're dissolving your substance. The substance is still the same, but you're just dissolving it. So you need to know your words for your state changes. So just know from a solid to a liquid, you are melting. From a liquid to a solid, you are freezing. So I'll just put freeze here. Two more. When you're going from a liquid to a gas, you are evaporating or vaporizing. I'll just put evaporate. And then if you're going back to a liquid, this is condensation or condensing. So know these five words, freezing, melting, condensing, evaporating, and don't forget about dissolving. Dissolving is a physical change because you're going to the special aqueous state. Chemical change, which I'll write as CC is literally changing your substance from one thing to another. So you're changing the identity of substance. So you start with one substance and you end with a completely different substance. It's not a phase change. So it would literally be, um, if you started off with C286 and you wound up with you know, carbon dioxide and water if you added O2. So do you see how if you started off with this compound and you wound up with something completely different, that is a chemical change. The words for chemical changes are basically anything that does not have to do with the state. So flammability, burning, oxidizing is another good one. That's rusting. Um, and then they can kind of, you know, put in a couple of different words there. But just know if it's not a physical change, if you don't see any of these five words, freezing, melting, condensing, evaporating, dissolving, it's probably a chemical change. So let's start. We got letter A. Condensation of steam. There's that word, condensation. Condensing, that's a phase change. That's going from a gas back to a liquid. So this is a physical change. Number two, or letter B, burning of gasoline. Burning is not a phase change. Burning is an actual reaction. So this, I'll say, changing substance. So if you're changing the substance, you're changing gasoline, that's a chemical change. So B would be chemical. Next, souring of milk. Hmm, is souring a phase change? No way, right? Souring, if you smell sour milk, it sounds terrible. It smells rancid. It means disgusting, yuck. You would never be able to get good milk back. So it's not a phase change. This is an actual chemical reaction. And it's in the word. This would be a chemical change. 
D. Dissolving of sugar in water. There's the hidden phase change. Dissolving is going to aqueous, going to an aqueous state. So since that's the case, this is a physical change. And then last but not least, melting of gold. Melting is a clear physical change. It's right here. So this is clearly a physical change. All right, guys, hope that helped. If it did, click that subscribe button. It would help us out a lot to know that you guys are doing good. And I will see you all in the next lesson. Take care now. Bye-bye.